All right, this is the unofficial tour of the Creature Cottage, our tiny house. Um, I'm going to uh, kind of let Nia take you through the inside. I know you've seen most of the outside already. Some porch light. Hello. Hey, babe. Come in. All right, show us around, baby. All right, so as you can see, just do a little circle of, you know, around. All right, I'll flip the camera. I'll just mm -hmm. kind of pan ukuleles. Do you have a picture of what here? This is our lead glass window. Yeah, it's a little difficult to see. But there um, it is. Yeah. And then, as you can see, the ukulele is in our shrine area. Yeah. With our crystals and our tarot cards and everything else. Here's our closet. Turn so, these baskets have clothes in them, extra clothes in them. There's our shoes, that's my shoes, his shoes. We also have shoes over here um, that we just used to crate. And this is my side of the closet. Definitely fits all of my clothes. And if I ever um, want to buy more clothes, of course, I would just get rid of whatever I don't wear. Um, we hide stuff in here like my pants and canvases and my mini easel um, and then there's his side of the closet and a lot of our clothes are missing because we're about to go on the trip to Seattle as you guys know and we also like have our um, our hanging ironing board and our little dinner table that we eat on it's just one of those um like foldable tv, TV dinner yeah. table things um here's our little sitting corner that's where we spend a lot of time yeah go into the light pan out um, to get the scope of this thing that's where we um eat dinner and breakfast and um you know, just kind of chill out. And of course, like, they're filled with stuff. Like, this has a bunch of random things in it, you know, um, like important papers, even a couple of books, um, sewing box. This is where we keep like our extra sheets and towels, a big fur blanket and toilet paper and um, little fruit basket. Crucial. This is our marine stove. We were just using it earlier today. It's filled with a lot of ash because of that. Works like a charm. It actually overheats the place sometimes. Well, at least if you're upstairs, it feels like it's overheating the place <laughs> because it just gets all drawn up there. Yeah, it's always hotter upstairs than downstairs by 10 degrees. Yeah. And then here's our pantry slash our stairs to the upstairs slash art by nia <laughs> right yeah got this idea from pinterest this is um all book paper just a bunch of random books um poetry adrian i think i even used her shakespeare book for this our tea collection um we keep a lot of like nuts and chia seeds and brown rice and quinoa we're obviously out of stuff but we're not gonna go grocery shopping just yet until we get back from the trip and then you know like some extra stuff down here um this is where we keep our dishes so you know we've got um like our food processor and our blender and all of our pots and pans and our cutting board and some of our dishes are actually in the other house um we just haven't brought them back out here in like our bowls and stuff and um we hung our measuring cups and of course the fire extinguisher this is our um water Very heater to see anything down there, oh yeah yeah you can't really see anything down there except the sure flashlight it's, it's there. yeah and our little trash can um and then holds more of our dishes can, can you see that really well uh oh. it's yeah and these are obviously crates. Uh, yeah. Also, neification. Yeah. Of the house. We hung our teacups. Teacups there. Um, our Talk tiny. Talk about this counter. Tiny RV sink. Oh yeah, the counter. 
so the counter was made, um, as mom and dad definitely know, um, by using this old door that we found in the attic, and then we just bought, like, four or five bags of, um, dollar store river rocks and just kind of laid them all on there. Well, first we stained it, and then we laid them all in here, and then we used a two-part epoxy. It's the bar top epoxy. Um, so... It's really easy to clean. At least the parts that aren't the rocks, <laughs> because they do have a lot of texture to them. But I mean, we think it's worth it because it's absolutely beautiful. We wanted it to look very cozy in here. Our mini fridge, um, our little two burner propane stove, our little plants, and this is like such a cool light. It's our um, LED Edison light bulb. That thing's gonna last like forever. And Will built us these little um, spice racks. Spice racks. There you go. Yeah. All the spices you need. You can also see the hardware on the windows that Will did a fabulous job installing. And actually he created these windows from scratch basically. And, um, if you want to step into the bathroom here, wah, it's, it's obviously not quite finished. Um, we still need to put trim on the toilet. Um, and we still have to install the shower, but as you can see, like we've already, you know, got the plumbing in here going. Um, and we totally use that toilet. <laughs> and of course it's, it separates the pee and the poop. So... Like, it doesn't smell in here. And, of course, that goes outside into the gray water tank. And just to save space, we actually hung our toothbrushes from the ceiling. And a mason jar. And a mason jar. And Will made me that for our one-year anniversary. The moon phase wind chimes with a little geode. And then this is so cool as well. Like, this is a nice little touch. Um for our toilet paper holder using copper pipe. And this is where we keep our peat moss. I just thought it'd be cuter in this little trash can. And then um, where we would hang our towels and I'm trying to preserve a rose that Willie just bought me. It's very sweet. And of course we decided to use a curtain to make everything lightweight, just like we use curtains under here for the counter. Um, also, I just think it's a lot more elegant to be quite honest. Um, so. Show us the library. The upstairs. Okay. I guess I'll have to climb up here. Woo! Yeah, this is a, something that takes a little bit of practice. This, this ladder situation was actually an afterthought. It's totally, um, it's easy for us since we do it all the time, but for other people, they're like really scared to climb up here. <laughs> Yeah, it's, you can't, because you can't stick your feet past, obviously, this back wall here, so you gotta be, yeah. you know, just gotta be careful. Okay, are you ready for me to take it? Sure. Okay, so, what you can see here is our little reading nook. Um, we have a lot, a lot of books, a lot of books, <laughs> but... You know, we love to read, and that tiny little door, of course, does open. Um, I think if you guys have seen pictures, um, when the house wasn't quite done, um, we definitely played with that door a lot. But um, we don't have a way to get up there easily just yet. Um, we, plan to, we plan to add some little eye hooks here and yeah. here, and then have a rope ladder we can easily take out and... Stove, yeah, like it just it. it just makes more sense to do that because of course like We were gonna do a regular ladder like everyone else does but um But ours where would we put it? <laughs> yeah, most people do at least 16 feet uh, trailers uh, a lot of people do 20 or over uh, The ours is only 14. Yeah, so space is definitely a premium um, the only plates and also since we did this heater here Mm -hmm. You know, we don't have a lot of space on this wall. That wall, we've got the ukuleles. We could also store our guitars there. For right, too. exactly. But that needs a space. Right now, they're kind of sitting where the uh, the tub's going to be. So, um, yeah, rope ladder bridge for sure. Exactly. Um, and, of course, like, 
you know, mom and dad totally like talked to us about putting a regular ladder, um, instead of what we have right now. Um, but I mean, it works for us and this house is definitely built to, you know, our specifications and exactly what we want. Like, I mean, the, the ceiling height of the downstairs, um, that's definitely, oh, you totally just got a text message from Daniel. Sorry. Okay. So, um, the ceiling height downstairs, I believe it's like what, um, six, six feet. Foot, it's six foot two. Yeah. Uh, to the bottom of these exposed beams. Yeah. So, and I mean, I'm five, four wills, five, seven. So we feel like we have plenty of space right there. Um, but when, um, our friend Neil came to check out the house, I mean, he's like six feet exactly, I believe. And I mean, it was a little bit like just a little <laughs> cramped for him. Um, but we love this view. Like we can see pretty much everything. <laughs> My little Mexican blankets. I love these blankets. And the dormers. Uh, oh, the dormers. I like that, Shoot. Um, it gives us a lot of space and not the kind of dorm you typically see in the time. Yeah. So let, let me just turn around. It's kind of dark in here. I'll turn the lights on in a bit. But as you can see, um, we have some mood lighting. And I really, really wanted that. I thought it would be so cozy if on either side of the bed we just put little lanterns. Um, we you know, have these LED and there's, puck lights as well. Yeah, there's, there's um, some LED puck lights. I'll turn that on right now. That's okay. also 12 volts right there. Yeah, 12 volts. Um there's a dream catcher we made on our wedding day and a bunch of pillows, a mandolin, Willie. Will also, um, he sewed all the curtains in the house. And of course we have hardwood, um, underneath the bed as well. So we used hardwood everywhere except for the bathroom. Yeah, that's, um, that's vinyl. yeah, that's vinyl. Um, I don't think we took a picture or we actually showed you the floor. Well, if you've seen one, no. Yeah, I mean, it, um, we would have used wood, but it just, if, if anything went wrong, like a leak or something, or just moisture from, just moisture from getting out of the shower. Yeah. Like it, it's just a better idea, um, overall to use final flooring. So this is, our, here, honey, you take it. Yeah, yeah. Any final thoughts? Well, it's like almost, almost, uh, like this is the closest we've ever been to complete, which we can say that pretty much all the time, but like, <laughs> um, really we finally got, um, the water running. We can like, we actually have running water in here. Finally, that just happened this past week. Um, and then we just have to install the shower and put a little bit more trim. Yeah. And then... As like you can see, there's the right trim. here, you can see the kind of edge of the hardwood. Yeah, you totally can. Yeah. yeah. Um, just trim that out. And then trim on the wheel wells right there. Um, mm -hmm. Make that look a little cleaner. Exactly. Um, yeah, so the shower and some more trim and we're like officially done. Like pretty much we could take this baby anywhere. <laughs> All right. Anyway, say bye-bye, baby. All right, goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, we'll everyone. See you soon.